everything is with the caveat that like it's not real football. They're just running right. around in t-shirts and and shorts playing catch. Uh, but Tyquan Thornton uh, is just Looks someone good. you you can't take your eyes off of. You know, it's just you watch him because you want to see what he's going to do. He's so lanky, but I mean, you can see the burst. You can see some speed. He made some he made some good catches. Made a really good sideline catch. Might have been out of bounds. It's hard for us to tell uh, when they were playing over there on the other end of the field. But there's just some moments where it's just. You know, they threw to him in these drills, in these in situations. He came up with most of the balls, kind of went his way. But he's kind of that X factor wild card where you're like, well, what if, what if that was a hit? What if he pops? Like, could that change the dynamic of things? And again, it's just day one. But your thoughts, kind of watching him running around out there today? Yeah, he moves incredibly well, and it's yeah. not just a line speed thing. There's not a lot of guys that size, especially. First of all, there's not a lot of guys that size that fast. First, right. Time. There's not a lot of guys that size or that fast that are as quick as he is. And, and the difference between speed and quickness is speed is straight line. It's the 40 yard dash. Quickness is like the three, three cone drill. It's how quick you get in and out of cuts, how well you change direction. Do you lose a lot of speed in that, et cetera, right? He really just in all phases of the game moves well. He attacks the ball aggressively as wide receiver. I talked before about being a hands catcher. He's another one. He's a hands catcher. I think we're going to see it right here, right? He catches this ball. Yeah, yep. look at that. Away from his body, right there, right in the eyes. So, so far, he's checked all the boxes. There's no reason to be concerned yet. Now, the big thing is his size. What's it going to look like once guys can knock him around a little bit? That becomes the big question. We won't start to answer that until Monday. But really, to this point, again, checking every box, there's no... Well, he could be better with this, or he could be better with that. If this was a guy who was, you know, he's 6'3". So let's even call it 195 pounds. We're all drooling right now, right? Yeah. It's just a matter of how is he going to be able to handle some of this contact. If he, and he doesn't need to be great at it. He doesn't, and his release package is good, like the footwork, right? So he yeah. can avoid some of that physical contact. If he's just average at, you know, shucking defenders and, and, and getting defenders away from him with the hands, that that's a hit. He's going to be a player. It's just a matter of how well is he going to respond to guys getting in his chest off the line. Yeah, and it's again, it's an unknown. You're not really going to know until you see him go up against defenders, have to beat guys off the line, more competitive drills. And again, you saw really none of that on day one, uh, and and you, I don't expect you're going to see much uh, in the early going here. But eventually, you know, you're going to get a better read on Thornton and whether or not he can play. Yeah, I, I the range of the range of possible outcomes on him goes from potentially working his way into a major league contributor to medical red shirt, you know, well, <laughs> you so know, like it's funny. <laughs> it wouldn't be stunning if they comes up with the, Ooh, my hamstring. And he just it gets the medical Fox red shirt here too. Yeah. The Fox I, I, I think like big picture with him. I was saying this the other day, how many guys with that size speed combination, right? They're all either elite or they're bumps. There's no, none of those guys are just fine. None of those guys are just okay. Right. None of those guys say, oh, he's a solid number two receiver, right? They're, they're all legit number ones or they're, you know, people were throwing out John Ross or, or John Ross or Darius Hayward Bay last time I said this. Uh, yeah, it, it really feels like he's going to be some sort of extreme. The question is, which way is he going to go? Yep. And I, I don't know, but it's again, it's a guy who, you know, every time you mention him, people get really excited. So it's, you talk about, you know, what are you looking for at camp? That's going to be, I think that's the number one player who's going to, who people are going to be really looking at and scrutinizing to see sure. how does he look? Can he hold up? And, and again, you know, it's just day one, but obviously everything you saw today, he looks like a player. 